Welcome to day 13 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're going to show you how to crop and straighten and expand any image to create an amazing composition. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we're talking about cropping and expanding using AI and how to straighten out your images. We got a lot to cover jam packed. Let's jump into Photoshop. So we're starting off with this photograph, which is really cool. But as I zoom out here, you're going to see we got a couple of little issues. Okay. First issue here is our horizon is not straight at all. So we need to fix that. Second issue is the composition is just kind of okay, but look how close they are to the left and to the top. And I want more room up there. Like there's a lot of space right down here that kind of like serves almost no purpose. And all my action is right up here. So we want to go ahead and use our crop tool to help us out here. So there's a lot of options within the crop tool. First thing we need to do is select it. So let's go right over here to our crop tool. You can also hit C for your crop tool. Okay, now we're going to start off with here on the very top, we're going to go through and go ahead and show you some of our tools up here at the very top within our options bar. And then we're going to talk about our contextual taskbar as well. So here you can see basically the same thing, but I can choose my ratio. So if I wanted to, for instance, choose a one to one square, basically, that's just going to be a square crop. And you can choose the same thing right over here. So you could go to a one to one, if you're going to print, like if you're going to do an eight by 10 print, you could go ahead and choose that there. Let's just put this back on square. And if you want to move this square around, all you have to do is click here in the center and kind of move your crop at any point in time. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that right over there. And we're going to say, yeah, let's leave that as a square for now. That looks pretty good. Now the next we're going to just move over to the right hand side, we're going to move to this little icon here to the gear. Okay, with this gear, I want to show you where it says enable crop shield, you can change your opacity here. So let's go ahead and bring this opacity down just a little bit. This is just a preference. So you can see like the rest of the image that would be visible. Sometimes I like to keep this all the way at 100%. So I can actually see what the final images looks like. But by default, this is going to be just a little bit lower and you're going to be able to see some of your image. So this is just like an option for you on how you're actually going to view your image as it's cropped. Okay, now we did choose a square crop. And if I decide to go right down here and try to resize my crop, no matter what I do, it's going to keep it as a square, right? I have to hit this clear button right over here. Boom. And as soon as I do that, now I can go ahead and change my crop size at any point in time. All right, so there we go. We've got our crop. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is our overlay. And this is actually really powerful and cool. I'm going to show you some tips here. So right now you can see I've got some lines, my overlay here right now is set to rule of thirds. Now, if you're not familiar with the rule of thirds, basically, it kind of says like the most interesting part of your photograph should be at the intersection of two lines, like a vertical line and a horizontal line. So in this case, like rule of thirds would actually work really well, because like intersection right there looks pretty good. And generally, if you have like a horizon, like here, we actually do have a very clear horizon, you want that horizon to be either on a lower third or an upper third. Okay, so like you would want it to be here. Okay, or you'd want it to be here on the third. All right, that brings me to my next point. This horizon is not straight at all. And here you can very easily see that it's not straight. So how do we straighten things in Photoshop? Well, we're going to go ahead and right over here on the outside edge, you're going to see I have a little uh, curved arrow, I can click here and straighten, I can rotate as I crop. So now you could see that my horizon would be here. Okay, there we go. And we're following our rule of thirds. And this is looking like a good composition. Now let's go ahead and put it back how it kind of was before because there's another way to straighten that I think is even easier to use. And it's called the straighten tool. So <laughs> you can click on the straighten right over here by clicking on this icon. And it's actually here as well in your contextual taskbar. With the straighten tool, basically, you just click and drag on your horizon. So I have a little zoom in magnifier tool that I use. But you can see I can just click and drag it on my horizon and kind of bring this right over here. So this is what it's gonna look like for you. And when you let go, it automatically straightens out your image. How cool is that? So we've straightened our image, we've shown you how to crop and change your ratio. We, now we have no ratio selected because I hit clear. So I can literally make this any size I want. So if I want to stick right here with my grid, if I want to stick to rule of thirds, I can do that. And look at this, I could put my subjects, boom, right there. 
I could put the ground, like the ocean here, in the lower third. We have our sky on the upper two thirds, and my subjects are kind of right there in the middle. Now, I could go ahead and bring this down and get a similar idea, a similar crop if I wanted to at any point in time. And of course, if I do have a ratio that I wanna turn on at any time, like if I wanna do like 16 by nine for like a film effect, I can still do that and still get the type of crop that I want. See, I still have a lower third with the ocean and the upper two thirds with sky, or I could go back to a square and I could still make this a little bit larger and then go back in here and still get that same type of effect, which I think is really, really cool. So this is all of this, by the way, I'm showing you how to use, let's go ahead and hit clear again. I'm showing you how to use this rule of thirds to actually work with your composition. Now, this is a guideline. You don't have to do this. It's just kind of like a proven way of making a nice composition while you're photographing or cropping in Photoshop. But there are other things you could do here. There's another one that I actually really like called a golden spiral, and this is based on mathematics. If you click on the golden spiral, now you're gonna see this crazy spiral through your image, okay? I'm gonna make sure if you have this set to a ratio, if you're following along, right? Like right now, it might be a square. Go ahead and hit clear, and then you can change this spiral. So this is another way of creating cool compositions in Photoshop. So there's no right or wrong. These overlays here, they're kind of to help you create these compositions. So if I bring this down, see how this spiral, okay, goes right up here, and then it kind of like spirals around to create all the way right down here. So this is used a lot in like, classical painting to you know to guide your eye through an image and in this case if i use this spiral check this out i'm actually going to be able to kind of like bring my image in a way to where like see those people who are sitting in the ground uh, <laughs> sitting in the ground who are floating in the water right there those are their friends and they're waiting for them so i could use this spiral as a composition to say like look at this up and it kind of follows this guy's arm up and then it follows her arm up and then it kind of spirals around and then focuses on the friends so you know this is actually like a really cool composition as well and i like this composition maybe we'll just foreshorten it just a little bit and look at that it's gonna draw your eye right around there so that's a really cool way of using these overlays i really highly suggest them because they're a little underutilized with the crop tool. Now, up until now, I haven't talked at all about AI, but we kind of have to, right? Because historically, traditionally in Photoshop, if I were to crop this image now, like I straightened it, I moved it, I did a lot of stuff to this, but you can see all this area here, out here and out here, there's nothing there. There's no image pixels. Like back in the day, you could use your clone stamp tool and stuff like that. But now we have AI, right? So like you can kind of create whatever crop you want in Photoshop. All you have to do is here where it says fill, just make sure this is set to generative expand, okay? And like literally that's all you have to do. And then when you hit your checkbox up here or you hit generate here, it's gonna do your crop, but it's also gonna use AI to kind of fill in everything else. So I saved AI for the very end, just cause I wanted to show you like, there's a lot of really interesting and important and cool things you can do with the crop tool. But again, like if you want to expand your image, if that just makes sense for your photograph, you can use AI to do it. So again, up here, just make sure it says generative expand for your fill. If it's set to transparent, it's not gonna fill anything. You're just gonna be left with transparent pixels. So generative expand. And then we're gonna hit this little checkbox right up there. Boom, checkbox. You're gonna see this is generating. And now, like everywhere where there's a transparent pixel, it's just gonna use AI to put something in there. It's probably gonna give us some more friends hanging out in the water. Who knows what it's gonna give us? I don't know, it's AI, right? Uh, there we go, look at that. We have a few different variations and all of this is looking really good. Now I can go back in my crop and I can turn on my golden spiral and look at this. Now, all of this is what it's generated with AI and all this down here was my original. If I'm like, yeah, I like that, but I, I think I just want a little bit more space on the top. And I wanna kind of move this just a little bit. I can do that again. And you can see all this stuff, this is again, invisible pixels. There's, there's just no information right down here. But again, because I'm set to generative expand, you can hit generate or you can hit that little checkbox up at the top there. And I just expanded my crop a little bit and when I did that, okay, now it's just gonna fill all this stuff in again using AI. And this is in real time. You can see it just filled it all up in again. 
And now we're looking really good. So we completely changed our crop. And of course you have different options here if you go into your, you know, into your properties panel. But all of that, you know, if I just make those two layers invisible, this is what we started with and here's what we ended with. And we're completely changed our crop. Now our subjects have a lot more room. We're using the Fibonacci, you know, uh, golden spiral if you want to. Um, but then again, if you're like, yeah, this is cool, but I wanna go back to my rule of thirds, go ahead and click on there. And you're gonna say, you know what? My rule of thirds, I kinda wanted that. Let's go ahead and use the rule of thirds. We're gonna put our subjects there. And at the same time, let's go ahead and take our ratio. Let's make that a square crop, okay? And let's go ahead and make this a little bit larger. I'm gonna put that, you know, right over here. Perfect, there we go. It's just gonna give me some more space on the top, but that's okay. And hit that checkbox right up at the top. That's gonna to use AI to kind of fill in everything as well. So kind of my main point here is you can choose a lot of different cropping options and just like use AI to fill everything in and then just decide what you like the best. And you're like, okay, this is a cool square crop. We used our rule of thirds there we go to say, okay, the lake or the ocean is going, well, it's probably a lake, right? There's trees on the other side. I said ocean earlier. Some of you were rolling your eyes, probably a lake. Now you can see it's at the bottom line of our horizontal lines. Okay. You could put this on the top line there and our subjects are at the intersection of two of these lines. Not again, you don't have to do this stuff. It's just these common rules that kind of help you create a more interesting composition. There we go. So we applied that and we can say, okay, this looks really, really good. Our subjects have a lot more space. All this is with AI. So this is what we started with our original photograph. And remember it was crooked. And then all this we added with AI. And here we have a beautiful image that we've done using a crop tool plus AI. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out that overlay and go through all of those different types of overlays. It just gives you a really good idea of how you can improve your composition even after you've made the shot. Thanks so much for joining us for 30 days of Photoshop. Check us out tomorrow where we show you how to use the brand new dynamic text tool to create a stunning composition. Thanks again. I'll flare you later. Bye everyone.